What was the deal with that? That... I mean, just trying to run over a little frog there. Suddenly, it's big chicken. I don't like seeing cocks fly through the air like that. It makes me uncomfortable. You know what else makes me uncomfortable, comrades? Not being in an airplane. I love the airplane. <sighs> okay, comrades. It is time. It is time. We're gonna go. We're gonna take Whizpig down. We're just gonna... Boom! Here we go. You ready, comrades? Right. Look at him. It's a strange voice he's got there. Alright, whatever. <sighs> Alright, comrades, this is what we've been training for. This is what Banjo has been getting ready for. We're gonna take this boy on. We're gonna beat the game right here. Why why is he so big? Oh, there we go. Good start. Why is why is that guy so big? I I did not imagine him being enormous like that. I thought he was gonna I thought he was like large, like but why is he like a giant. That's freaking weird. Oh no, hard to tell, but oh yeah, there we go. This, this is gonna be easy. I can all right, look at all these boosts. These boosts, we're just ripping, doing the jumps, got flying through the raindrops. There we go, <sighs> dude. I'm doing this like I've hit, I've done every boost like perfectly so far. How is he that far ahead of me? How? It's because he gets to fl he gets to fly and be on the roads. Dude, this is just... I, I don't have words. How? Ugh. Ugh, it's just beating me down. Beating me down. Just totally demoralized. Yeah, who cares? Screw it. Who needs it, Banjo? It doesn't matter. Hi. Comrades, how are you supposed to do this? I don't... Jeez. This may well be uh, a battle. I mean, like, the octopus took a little bit of focus. The dragon, I had to actually try a little bit, you know, but... Dude, how... This is just insane. He's, like, a quarter of the way f around the track farther than me. I can't even see him. There he is. I'm getting, like, glints in the back of his head. Ugh. Yeah, it's real funny, isn't it? Look at your nasty, nasty feet. Pig feet. I'm gonna feed your feet to my dog. Oh, now I'm outside. Oh, great. Can't just kill me and make me restart the level. You have to send me outside, so I gotta do this again? Oh, well, no matter. We got a loop. We got a loop. We got a good race coming up. I'm, I, I'm feeling it this time, comrades. I'm feeling it this time. Yeah, I don't need to talk to you. Don't need your crap. We're just gonna blast off. We're gonna do it. All right, you ready? You ready, comrades? Boom! That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, we're in the groove. We're in the groove now. We got him. We got him this time. Oh, wait. Dang it. What? No. Oh, my God. All right. Okay, what that was, comrades, was I... I wanted to see if uh, power sliding actually made me go faster, but I forgot what button it was, so we're just going to just try this again. Here we go. Oh yeah! Alright, alright, we got this, we got this. Because I've actually wondered that for a while. Does power sliding actually make you go faster? We'll see, we'll see. So, alright. Truth time, comrades. I've, uh, I've beaten Whizpig once before. I've done this race once before, and won. But I had to, uh, I had to... I had to kind of cheat it. Uh, that, that chicken that we just saw, he's, that's an unlockable character. He's the fastest character in the, in the game. Uh, by a pretty wide margin, but his handling isn't great. And every time I've tried to beat Wizpig before, I've had to use him. Like, I couldn't do it with, uh, with any other character. I had to use the super character. So, with Banjo, I don't know, this, this is gonna be a first for me, at least. Uh, so we're just gonna, just gonna hope for the best, catch up to this boy, shoot over that, over that, pe over that body of water, shoot over that one, too. See, if we just keep this up, I mean, if the race was longer, I'd probably, probably be able to catch up. I mean, no, I don't want to, I want to do it as Banjo. Banjo is the man. Banjo's the manjo. We can, I, I believe in you, Banjo. They must have play tested this. I'm, I'm sure you don't need the chicken man. You can do it, you can do it with Bear Man, I'm sure. Mr. Bear. We, we're going to do it. We're going to have a comeback. It's going to be a miracle. 
Hopefully it's not a miracle like I got a Greenwood Village. That was that was not the kind of miracle I wanted. <laughs> All right, come on, Banjo, come on, come on. <sighs> yeah, shut up. Might be get struck by lightning. Okay, okay. Again, again. We're not gonna give up. All right, Banjo, I believe in you! Yeah, how's that feel? Nasty whiz pig it turns you into bacon. <laughs> how's it feel to be a loser? How's it feel to be lower in life than than scum, than vomit, than a green man? How's it feel to be lower in life than a scaly green man? Oh, genie. Genie, I have to tell you about something awesome that just happened to me. Oh my gosh. TT, Captain TT. Yeah! Let's party guy oh my gosh, that was whew, comrades, that I'm I'm sweating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh comrades, that was whew, that was that was rough. That was rough. I whew, but I pulled we pulled it off. Banjo. Banjo pulled it off. The genie is the genie looks like he's drunk or something. So go right climb up there, get some pineapples. Ah, oh, comrades, everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful, comrades. Ah, let's just enjoy these credits. Oh, there's the big phallic image. Yep, there it is. Wait, what? Oh my god. Dude, I beat you in a race. What more do you want? How did nobody see him go back there? Whatever. Whoa. Oh my god! Sorry to break the party worms, but I had to say goodbye! What kind of accent is that? It's like a southern accent plus like a British accent or Cockney accent or something. But <sighs> Really? Really? Right, now the ship comes in and kills everyone, we all die and it's the end of the game. Ugh. Well. See you later, worms. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job, Nintendo. That was uh. That was quite an ending there, huh? Huh. Well, comrades, that's, uh... Don't, don't worry, just, just stick around till the end of the video, you'll see what's up. But <laughs> I 
I can only imagine when this game came out, uh, what people were thinking. Cause that's that's not really the end. Uh, I w I've got to wonder what. Oh, did you see that? D Wise. D Wise did the music. Uh, that's uh, that's David Wise, of course. David Wise, an absolutely brilliant composer. That's why the music in this game was so freaking good. If you don't know David Wise, then uh, ill love day. If you don't know David Wise, then go look at him right now. Uh, he did the music for all the all of the uh, Donkey Kong games, Donkey Kong Country 1, Donkey Kong Country 2, DK3, etc. And I mean, if you're not in the Savoir Faire, uh, I mean, just know that those games had had blindingly good music. I mean, go go back and listen to it. You're on YouTube right now. Go back, check that stuff out. Everyone, all right, you need examples. Everybody loves uh, his his. Uh, DK song, Sticker Brush Symphony, but there's some other good ones. Forest Interlude, In a Snowbound Land. Those are those are just those are amazing. They put that's what techno should be. That's what techno's meant to be. Uh, plus, plus on top of that, he's like eccentric. He's an eccentric musician kind of guy. Like he recorded all of those during what he called his experimental Paris phase. <laughs> I mean, how ridiculous is that? It's awesome, is what that is. It's more awesome than the ending of this game, which I'm sure terrified people back when it came out. And it's like, what? Oh my god. Is this how the game ends? No, it's not how the game ends. We got a few more videos to go, comrades. Everything is everything is gonna be fine. Everything is gonna be everything will be as beautiful as it was during the party. The genie. Genie will come by, congratulate me, he'll get smashed on the beach again. The end? Ooh? And, uh, I don't know what that is, but but I think we're gonna we're gonna end this session, comrades. Godless Kami, see you guys later.